Hello, my name is Craig Seibert and I'm a Senior Solutions Consultant with Involve Media. Today is the second of four vlogs reviewing the general settings in Adobe Learning Manager. The first section we will look at in part two is the Auto Register User section. If this is selected, every new user added to the system will be automatically registered. This will allow them immediate access to Adobe Learning Manager when they click on the link in the email they receive. Just below that is Auto Delete Internal Users. Here you can set an amount of time that is longer than 30 days in the option box. If a user does not access the system within that set time, they will be deactivated from the system and will need to be reactivated by an administrator. This will not remove the user's data in the system, but just not allow them access. Show Catalog Labels allows you to add custom catalog indications on courses, learning paths, certifications, and job aids. If this is not active, you can still create custom catalogs, but courses cannot be added to those custom catalogs while they are being created. Below that is learners can view their scores. Learners have the option of downloading their transcripts from their profile settings. With this option turned off, they will still be able to get their transcripts, but will not be able to see any of the scores on any quizzes taken. If you turn this on, they will have all the regular data and an extra column showing test scores if applicable. Next is digest email. Enabling this will allow the learner in your system to receive a bi-weekly digest email showing a good cross-section of their learning activities within Adobe Learning Manager. If you would like the frequency to be different, you can move to the email template settings and then go to the settings tab and down to the digest email settings area. And then you can edit the frequency. After Digest Email is the Enable Course, Learning Path, Certification, Job Aid Cards icon section. When enabled, if a course is created by the author and they do not select an image for the Cover Image section, this will fill in the thumbnail of a course with a simple line graphic. This will be random in nature and will be a simple graphic that is business or learning related. The last one we will look at today is Footer Links. This section allows you to customize the links that are found on the footer of each page in Adobe Learning Manager. The footers are located horizontally on the bottom of the page. The Help and Contact Admin fields are required fields, but any fields after that are optional. You can add extra fields, replicate, or even reset the fields if necessary. Thank you for spending time with our team at Involve Media. You can find more information on our company and service offerings at involvemedia.com or by emailing us at sales at involvemedia.com.